Our next section is the network settings for storage. As you know, if you install File Cloud on-premise, you have the possibility to include in your File Cloud server external network shares, and this is where you can manage the general settings for them. The first setting is how do you want it to be named on the user interface for the users? In our case, it's called network shares, but you can call it in different names if you need it. You can change a few settings here regarding network shares as well. You can decide if the users can or cannot share files. This is a global trigger. Later on, you will see that you can configure this per network share and not just a global trigger. And again, always in a global trigger, you can allow or disallow the users to synchronize files from their network shares to their computers or to their devices. Same as we have on managed storage, File Cloud can save versions of the files. Those versions are, being, uh, are going to be stored in your network shares. So keep in mind that every, every version of the file that it's included is going to be using space from your network share. And same as we do as well on managed storage, we have the skip versioning threshold. Anything that goes in this case above 10 megabytes is going to be ignored and not, no version is going to be created for it. There's also some special settings here for network shares. Skip names, you can include here a regular expression with the names of folders or files that you want to ignore from showing on the file cloud user interface. For example, hidden files or any special folders that you don't want the file cloud to show it on the user interface, you can skip it from here. If you are using NTFS permissions and you have uh, access-based enumerations, you can enable this from, from the admin settings. And this is going to hide the, uh, the items that you don't want to show regularly on your NTFS shares to your users. This can also be sent over to File Cloud and we can also ignore it from the view. You can also enable caching for NTFS permissions. This is going to give you the ability to make your permission checking faster. And if you enable it, you can decide how, mu how much time in seconds do you want that cache to expire? Uh, this is useful, again, for speed performance. And if you ever need to increase the time that the cache is going to expire, you can change it from here. Or if you need it to refresh uh, every time or you don't need uh, caching permissions, you can disable it from here as well. Now, there is a global setting here for network shares that it's going to be for storing deleted files. If you ever delete a file on the network share and you want that file to be stored on the recycle bin, you can enable this from here. This is disabled by default, so make sure that if you want to keep those files deleted, make sure to come here and enable it. And as uh, similar to the setting that we have for versions, we have something similar for deleted files. Uh, that means if, for example, I don't want to store any file that is uh, over one gigabyte, I want those files to be permanently deleted, we can enable it from here. Remember that all the deleted files are going to be utilizing space from your network share, so keep that in mind. And finally, you can enable indexing search. And this is going to require you to make some changes on the helper and you need to have the, the helper and the content search enabled and running. But it also has some limitations on the network shares. You want to make sure that you don't have more than 200 or 250,000 files per network share. Otherwise, the content search engine is going to take too much time to cover that.